आई वी एम एंड वी आर बैक विद अ ब्रांड न्यू पॉजिटिवली अनलिमिटेड डोज टूडेज एपिसोड इज डब्ल्यू फॉर वेटिंग वेटिंग वर्सेज वेटिंग आई एम शोइंग यू टू साइड्स ऑफ द सेम कॉइन इन दिस एपिसोड बट बिफोर आई गो ऑन राइट टू मी ऑन चेतना एट सर्कल ऑफ पॉजिटिविटी डॉट कॉम इफ यू वॉन्ट मी टू एड्रेस अ स्पेसिफिक ब्लॉक यू आर स्ट्रगलिंग विद वी आर कंप्लीटिंग द सेकेंड सीरीज ऑफ ए टू जी ऑफ पॉजिटिव एक्शन सून सो सेंड मी योर ट्रेवल्स एंड आई गिव यू अ परस्पेक्टिव दैट कैन हेल्प यू ओवरकम इट यू कैन कनेक्ट विद मी ऑन इंस्टाग्राम टू माई हैंडल इज पॉजिटिविटी एंजल ओ एंड जस्ट बाय द वे दिस इज आर फिफ्टी एथ एपिसोड Thank you so much for listening in and sending me such lovely messages every single week. So let me tell you a story today about waiting from my book of life. This will explain one side of the coin. So about 15 years ago, I was in this intense volatile relationship. And for 6 years of that relationship, I waited. It's funny, but when I look back now, all I did in that relationship was wait. Wait for him to call me. wait for him to meet me wait for him to come home wait for him to set a date to get married needless to say one fine day i put an end to the waiting and that relationship this is one kind of waiting where we give away our power and we are waiting for our desires to happen to us this is a not so comfy space restless and full of dejected energy the other side of this coin is well waiting on purpose with faith My mom had a green thumb and as a child I remember eating a whole bunch of fruits that were grown on our farm. She had planted mango, chiku, banana, papaya, jackfruit and even you know what those uh, love apples uh, what we call I think jamun. But here's the thing about planting trees. You plant them and you wait for a few years before it bears its first fruit. And during that waiting period you nurture the plant. Water it, nourish it. This is what waiting on purpose looks like. It's filled with a sense of knowing and often has an action plan to follow. So now I want you to ask yourself, are you waiting for whatever it is that you are waiting in a powerless, helpless kind of way where nothing seems to be in your hands? Or do you know what's going to happen and by when? And right now you are just biding your time. Waiting of the latter kind where there's a plan in place. well that's the right kind of waiting the former the powerless kind well if that's your space take one big leap and get out of it now if you are waiting because you don't think anything is in your control then fear is the core emotion that you need to tackle and the way to do that is with the other f faith i know that we have an episode called p for pray i think that was episode 16 It has some great perspectives and tips to stand in faith. But let me just repeat a perspective that I share very often on fear. Fear isn't a bad emotion. It's a misunderstood emotion. It has two core purposes. One is to protect us and two is to pull our limiting beliefs into the limelight. So while you are waiting I want you to ask yourself this. What limiting belief is this waiting revealing to you? The powerless kind of waiting is often stemming from limiting beliefs and lack of faith. Faith in what you ask me? Well, it could be faith in yourself, in life, in certain people, or in God or the universe. However, you choose to refer to the magic that governs us. Respond to fear and not with fear, and you will begin to see the way out of this waiting. I'm going to say this again. Listen to it carefully. Respond to fear. and not with fear yes it's a tough decision yes you'll experience pain but in the long run it will do you good let me also tell you this what is meant for you cannot pass you by the only way it can is if you change your mind and decide that you don't want whatever it is anymore so give this a good thought another reason you are stuck in this waiting zone is because you are somewhere subconsciously punishing yourself for the choices that you've made anger towards self which is possibly leading to the belief that this is what you deserve or this is all that you are worth no my love you are worth way way more 
So quit the waiting. Get up. Get out. Move on. Move forward. Whatever you need to do to get out of this inertia and into an action state. Your life is worth living to the fullest. You hold the potential to live that full life. These aren't just words for me. I believe this. Even if I've never met you, because I see this phenomenon I call living our potential in so many of my clients just after a few sessions. And I witness transformation for a living. So if you lack faith right now, feel free to put your faith in me. I am holding faith for you. I know and I believe that it is time to put this waiting to an end. Besides, we may have never met, you may have never heard of me before, and yet, right now, when you need to hear these words the most, you are tuned in listening to me, making a new connection. The powerless waiting, it's over. This is the sign you've been waiting for. So get up and make those choices. I sign off today's episode with a wave of strength for anyone out there who needs to make a tough choice, a better choice. Also, if you want more of how do I do this and perspectives and tips on how to get out of this space, well, simply log on to the IBM website or download the app. All the previous episodes are available on that. Hey, everybody. We have a brand new podcast series by Bloomberg Quint called BQ Conversations, which covers a range of topics like business strategies, latest trends in technology such as cybersecurity and artificial intelligence, and also personal finance. Episodes are out on the IVM podcast app or wherever you listen to podcasts. Filter coffee is a fascinating beverage. You need to pick the right beans, blend them in the right proportion, roast them to perfection, and slow brew at the right temperature to get the perfect cup. Which is exactly like great conversations as well. You need to track down the most interesting minds, get them into their zone, and settle down for an unhurried, unscripted chat. And coffee for me is always, always, always best enjoyed with friends. I'm Karthik Nagarajan, and do share my table as I meet some of the most interesting people I know and sit them down for a strong cup of coffee and an even stronger conversation. Join me every Wednesday for a freshly brewed episode. This is not Frappe. This is the Filter Coffee Podcast. <laughs>